This is Darius from therabbitpad.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create and print mailing labels or any type of label in Google Docs. Now this is not a feature that is native to Google Docs. What you're going to do is you're going to install an add-in which is basically a plugin that will allow you to create labels in the same way that you would be able to do in Microsoft Word. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to open up a new document and you need to click on add-ons, which is in the main menu at the top of the screen. Click get add-ons and you need to search for Avery, which if you don't know is pretty much the leading manufacturer of label products. But even if you get a generic brand like Office Depot brand labels or Staples brand labels or whatever is available in your area, they follow the size conventions of the Avery products, which will allow you to use this plugin even if your labels are not made by Avery. So in order to install this plugin, click the plus button and then it's going to ask you for permission and click allow if you agree to those terms. And now you have the ability to create labels. Now, in order to create labels, you need to have data inside of a spreadsheet that you wish to transfer to these labels and I already have something here. I just put, you know, a person's name and a city and that will be the information that's on my labels. And in order to create the labels, you need to go to the document or the Google Docs document and you need to click add ons and then Avery label merge and click new merge in order to create a new set of labels. It's called merging because you are merging the data within Google Sheets with your document in Google Docs. So I'm going to click new merge and when that opens, I'm going to select an Avery product and I'm going to click address labels because I use those a lot and I'm going to pick the 5260 because that's what I'm used to using. After you decide which type of label you're going to use, you press select and then it's going to ask you to pick a spreadsheet where your data is contained and it is in this file that I call data labels for the purposes of this video and you press select and now you see that you have a sidebar that's opened which is going to allow you to customize what you want to be in each label. Before you mess with anything over here make sure that your cursor is inside of this box because that is going to be the template that is going to carry over to all of your labels. So now that we have the cursor in this box, you need to click name, or I'm going to choose to click name and the city, and you can format the text to look the way that you want it to look. So let's say I want the person's name to be very large and I want it to be in bold text. And let's say that I want all of this to be centered. So I'm gonna select all of the text and it's going to be centered and that is what all of my labels are going to look like and for most of what you're doing this part of the screen the lower right hand corner is going to remain unchanged and after you've decided what you want to be in each box you're going to select merge and then the plugin or the add-on is going to do its thing and now it's going to create a new document click open and now I have a document with my labels formatted the way that I told it to be formatted in the previous screen. And now I can put my labels inside of my printer and print them and it'll work just the same way that it would in Microsoft Word. If you found this video helpful, please click that like button and subscribe to this channel so that you can be amongst the first to see when I publish new videos. Thank you so much for watching this video.